Yes, if we, if we compare uh, the ATV2 and ATV3, you know, today we are in, uh, let's say, an exploitation phase of the ATV program. And so all the missions are more or less similar. So we have to bring up to the station uh, oxygen, food, uh, fuel for the station, pieces of equipment. Um, let's say also that one main function of the ATV is to reboot the station, to appraise the, uh, the altitude of the station. So if we can make comparison between ATV2 and ATV3, so the ATV2 uh, fly, so performed last year, was more more focus on the reboot of the station. Uh, that was a period of the end of the shuttle flights. So that was the need requested by ASS to appraise the altitude or to change the altitude of the station. For a TV3, this mission now uh, is more focused on the, the crew uh, utilization, means we use the full capacity of the ATV, the pressurized part of the ATV, with uh, cargo bags uh, and so on and so on. And also with water, we bring up uh, more or less three, 300 uh, liters of water for the, to the station. For, for the team here, the, uh, the, the mission is really similar. We have just uh, tried to improve the, the robustness of the system. Uh, the training is, I hope, more efficient than the previous one, meaning that we have tried to imagine uh, new contingency cases to be trained on the any uh, assumption, failure, and so on and so on. Um, what is new also is the, the delta in terms of uh, we have to prepare in parallel the ATV4 mission. And it's a not easy task because we have to manage in parallel the ATV3 operation and to start the ATV4 campaign. So we have more or less to duplicate the facilities, have a team ready to support both uh, missions in parallel. So this is uh, many the main difference between the ATV2 and the ATV3 mission for the operational point of view. Yeah, the status of the uh, ATVCC uh, control center, so the ATV control center is uh, uh, more or less we are ready to support the, the flight. In the, the last week, we had uh, what we call the uh, joint operational readiness review, meaning we had to, to verify the overall status of the ground segment, networks, uh, readiness of the procedures, uh, training of the teams and so on. So that was uh, passed uh, and uh, successful, so successful. For, for sure, we have still in front of us a few simulations in order to complete the training and to maintain the, the knowledge of the, of the team, team to fly. Uh, in particular, we have still one training, one simulation with our partners, with Moscow and, uh, and Houston. And afterwards, that will be the final, uh, the final weeks with uh, a rehearsal for the layup phase, so the launch and the early operation uh, activities, and the second rehearsal for the specific phase of the docking. So we can say that today the ATVCC is ready to fly. Great. So I think w w what is really exciting in performing this kind of activity is really the, uh, to, to see and to, to uh, not to touch because we are uh, far from the ATV, but uh, through the, uh, the display, the video, the, the crew reports, we can really see the, uh, the ATV vehicle itself. So this is the big difference that we can have with the uh, telecommunication satellites. When you have launched the satellites, okay, you have only the telemetry, but it's more uh, abstract. It's, not diffi it's more difficult to, uh, to understand that uh, you have in front of you or behind. Uh, in remote control the uh, satellite. Here we have the possibility to, to see him, and so it's very exciting. So this, uh, this is a, the third mission for me. So each time uh, I think it's really a, a huge moment of emotion when you see the ATV approaching the station, docking the station, uh, when the crew is inside, uh, removing the bags and so on and so on. So also when there is the re-entry and the destruction of the uh, the vehicle, so this is the end of the adventure, but till now we have the pleasure to, uh, to have a, a new one in front of us. So we have now preparing the ATV3 mission and there is still two missions to be, uh, to be performed in the two next weeks, two next years. So we can say that today we are ready, uh, ready to launch, so we hope uh, that everything will be uh, performed with success. The same success that the 
two previous flights. So uh, we cross the fingers and go on.